This is by far the most underrated item in fashion right now. Nobody is wearing these. <laughs> What's up, y'all? So I've lived in both sides of the spectrum, Albuquerque, New Mexico, and New York City. Vastly different styles. And while the culture of fashion as a whole stays as part of our daily lives, you do start to notice common items and items that aren't really worn too much. So here are my top five garments that will step up your style. Now, the first item are garments that are strapped, literally. No need to be afraid of them. They aren't a threat. They just need to be respected. But you got to be careful. There is the infamous Instagram ad of the strap cargos that I drop shipped. Most of us have fallen for the ad. They use the same pictures. Stay away from those. Those are ass. I'm talking about ones that really take it up a notch and add some substance to your outfits. So I want you to check out these strap cargos from Fried Rice NYC. Here's what they look like without straps and now with straps. Big difference. You get the choice of going with or without straps, but also the choice of customizing it however you want. You want to use a strap as a belt? Go for it. There's an infinite amount of customized options so that you can express yourself however you want. But let's just say you want something a little more toned down. This is more so in the Asian streetwear category, but try and look for garments with an extended adjustable belt. This can hang from your pants as a belt or can be sort of a Japanese cardigan or something like this top from Rosen X. Now I have this jacket right here also from Fried Rice NYC and there's an adjuster strap along the wrist so you can adjust the size of your cuff, you can cinch it. Straps just add flow to an outfit as you walk, you know? It can provide shape and texture that a lot of outfits could use and it's such a tasteful look in my opinion now next on the list you guys know this is a big part of my style the mandarin collared shirt i really think this is one of the most underrated items and i think it's because there's some sort of stigma behind wearing it you know you don't want to offend anyone it should be asian people that wear this trust me man it's not that deep our boy carter was wearing it back in the day and now that we got that out of the way yes it did originate from asia and it's a completely different garment to the standard collared button up they're easy to wear they're considered formal but i also see them as casual i think it's a great way to look a little more put together without looking so business meeting-esque you know what i'm saying so all the mandarin collared shirts i got come from Uniqlo. This one right here is from Fundamental. There's just such variety out there, different styles, different patterns. And the beauty of these garments is they pair well with formal clothes and they also pair well with more street type of clothes. I don't ever see anyone wearing these and I live in the biggest city in America. Just goes to show you how underrated it is. And an underrated aspect with fashion in general is the quality of your socks. And that is why I recommend picking up socks from the sponsor of today's video, Bombas. You ever have socks that leave fabric between your toes? I know you have, it's not very nice. That is a sign of poor quality. And you just don't get that with Bombas. So not only do you get a premium design, you also get the comfiest socks ever. All their socks come with sweat wicking technology so your socks won't stink. They come with a cushioned footbed, a honeycomb arch support system, and it stays hugging to your calves or ankles. Nothing slips. The no-show socks feel exactly the same, comfortable, breathable, and it's perfect for the summertime. And the best aspect about Bombas and why I love supporting them is one purchase equals one donated. Because socks are the number one most requested item in homeless shelters, and your purchase will go directly to supporting that. So if you wanna pick up any of these socks, definitely click that link in the description. You're going to be supporting me and also supporting a great cause and they got you on a ton of other color choices. I promise you these socks will not disappoint so click that link in the description and thank you Bombas for supporting the channel and sponsoring this video. Now next up is one of the most affordable items that you can buy and that is the scarf. I mean it depends on where you get it though because it can go up there in price but the money to outfit ratio is unmatched. This scarf was 15 bucks and this one was also 15 bucks that I got six years ago from Zara. Still wear it to this day and just take a look here's a very simple outfit that looks good but you can consider it bland regular shirts pants and a coat now when you throw on the scarf it sort of adds this well put together ambiance and of course you can tie scarves in many different ways whether it be just hanging around your neck the gin urso the throw over the wrap around and the loop and guess what it works with virtually every style out there now i do see scarves worn a good amount where i live however when i went back home for the holidays no dudes were rocking these and it was below freezing so step up your scarf game fellas and once you do it's only 15 bucks and now you've opened up a ton of versatility for your wardrobe up next is the vest vests are kind of a complicated garment when it comes to wardrobe integration puffer vests are perfect for the winter but what if it's too cold your sleeves are going to be exposed and it's definitely not warm enough for the dead of winter and you do see vests in the summertime but it may be too warm to layer up with another shirt so i do see these as more of a spring and fall item but that just means it's not going to be worn as much as let's just say a hoodie so just keep that in mind if you're looking to pick one up and while they 
did gain some traction a few years ago, vests never really had the impact on your everyday consumer. So if you do know how to style these, it's really going to step up your style. It's going to add depth, size, and layering to your outfits. I do think it's a great way to add some complexity to your outfit, and it's also very slept on, so I recommend giving it a shot. And finally, we have the long collared overshirt. So this garment is perfect for those that love overcoats, but the weather is a little too nice to rock one, which makes this garment perfect because it's a little bit lighter and it's not as long, so it's not going to cover as much surface area, and they add this casual chic vibe to your fit. Yeah, sure, you can style them with trousers and it's going to look great, but if you're tired of, let's just say, the hoodie or the crew neck, this is a great alternative to a street fit. I have this one from Y3 and this one from a cold wall, a very underrated piece. Those are my top five garments. I want to hear from you guys down in the comments below. What would you add to this list? Go ahead and like this video, subscribe to the channel, and until then, stay fly, check out Bombas, deuces.